Oh, new parts came in for the dozer. So now, uh, what I got here, it's the same piece I had before this one here. It's the, the um, Sabertooth 2x25. And uh, the last one, I guess, had a defect with it. And uh, it's been replaced. But the company that I bought it from, they didn't uh, restock their shelves with a new one here. And there's a little piece here, it's hard to see it probably. But um, it prevents it from, uh, I guess, getting uh, short circuited. So that's what happened last time. It short circuited out. So that one's going to be for the two Trex motors. And this one here, it's also the saber tooth. This is a two by twenty or two by five, and this one's gonna control the blade. So I'll run them together, running off the same receiver, and uh, I'll have full control on the joysticks for the tracks and the blade. So I'll take those, both of those, and I'll mount them on this plate here, and this plate will sit right down here and house all all the electronics there so so that's uh, that's the deal now and we'll test this thing out all right get everything mounted in there so the next step is uh, start connecting wires Well, we got it all hooked up. Our thing's running correctly. These two are not needed. But uh, these two purple, blue, and green ones control the tracks. One to each motor on each side here. And then this one here goes to the, uh, to the blade and it works. Problem is, my battery um, just wouldn't hold a charge anymore. So I had to go get it. A new one, so I just got it, letting it drain there. You know, let it sit for an hour, and then I could charge it for eight hours. So it won't be today that I get to play with it. But um, I had an old standby battery here, and uh, it's just about dead too. Just enough juice to uh, test it all out. So uh, we're just waiting for a battery now. So. We'll be ready to go.